Hello, good morning, my dears. I welcome you for the today's session about Coulomb law for magnetism and the classification of magnetic materials. In the previous session, we discussed about what is magnetic material, what are the basic concepts involved in magnetism and their certain specific characteristics we discussed in the previous session. In today's session, we are going to discuss about few more concepts like Coulomb's law, classification of magnetic materials. Let's see what are that. Coulomb's law in magnetism. See, this is a law just like Coulomb law in electrostatics. The force of attraction or repulsion between two magnetic poles is directly proportional to the product of their pole strengths and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So this is about the statement of Coulomb's law in magnetism. What is that? The force of attraction or repulsion between two magnetic poles is directly proportional to the product of their pole strengths and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Let's see the figure. In the figure there are two poles are there. One is the M1 and M2 and these two poles are separated by a particular distance R. Here if a force is acting which force it may be attractive or repulsive is acting then the force is what relation to the given poles and their distance is the force is related which is how they are related they are related to the poles in proportional manner that means force is directly proportional to the m1 m2 poles m1 m2 poles means this is the directly proportionality similarly the force is inversely proportional to the their square of the distance their square of the distance here why the square is introducing here when compared to the poles the value of r is very less so it is a negligible value to avoid this negligible value we are introducing in the place of r r square so not we are the author is introduced it is inversely proportional to See inversely proportion to R square. So this is inversely proportion to R square. It means F is inversely proportion to 1 by R square. F is proportion to M1, M2. So this is from the two concept it will be considered as F a direct sorry F equal to F a direct proportion to so F is directly proportional to from the two concepts it will be considered F equal proportional to M1, M2 by R square. So when you remove the proportionality then you will get certain parameter that is K. F equal to K into M1, M2 by R square. Where K equal to mu naught by 4 pi. Mu naught by 4 pi which is equal to the value of mu naught is how much the value of mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 tesla meter per ampere 
the value of mu unit is how much 4 pi 10 to the power of minus 7 so this is about the f equal to k m1 m2 by r square r f equal to mu naught by 4 pi into m1 m2 by r square this is about the coulomb law in magnetism in vector form it is represented as what form f equal to mu naught by 4 pi m1 m2 by r square into r caps so this is about that will be again simplified into which form f is equal to mu naught by 4 pi m1 m2 by r cube into r so this is in the vector representation uh, next one is about classification of magnetic material so the magnetic materials are basically classified into three forms there are many forms are there but here as of our discussion we are going to deal about these characteristics these three types one is a diamagnetic substance the other one is paramagnetic substance third one is ferromagnetic substance dia para ferro diamagnetic substance paramagnetic substance ferromagnetic substances are the three types of the magnetic materials let's see what is diamagnetic material definition diamagnetic materials are the magnetic materials that are freely magnetized when placed in magnetic field freely magnetized diamagnetic materials are those materials that are freely magnetized when placed in the magnetic field however the magnetization is in the direction opposite to the magnetic field the magnetization is in the direction opposite to the magnetic field the magnetism that is shown by these materials are called diamagnetism so freely magnetized and feebly magnetized less, less magnetized at the same time freely magnetized without any external effort any material it is change into diamagnetic any material if it change into magnetic characteristics without any more external effort that material is called as diamagnetic material and the material diamagnetic material whatever properties are exhibiting they will be considered as diamagnetism properties of diamagnetic material there are no atomic dipoles in diatomic material there are no atomic dipoles dipoles means what north pole south pole any magnet south pole and north pole there are no atomic dipoles in diamagnetic material because the resultant magnetic moment of each atom is zero here resultant magnetic moment is zero in diamagnetic materials the reason is that due to paired electrons due to the paired electron diamagnetic material the resultant magnetic moment is zero due to the paired electron due to the paired electron diamagnetic material resultant magnetic moment is zero diamagnetic materials are repelled by a magnet so they are repelled by a magnet so here they are repelled by a magnet the substances are weakly repelled by the field the substances are weakly repelled by the field so in a non-uniform field these substances have tendency to move from a strong to weak part of the external field. So they are having which characteristics? A weak repelling characteristics. When you are placing this diamagnetic material in a strong magnetic field or external magnetic field, it will be moved from stronger region to weaker region. The intensity of magnetization is small and negative proportional to the magnetizing field. The intensity I is small and negative and proportional to the magnetizing field. What is magnetic field? That is H. Intensity of magnetization is what? I. So both are perpendicular to each Sorry, both are proportional to each other and here the intensity of magnetization is what small and negative so this is about the 
relation between i and h and this magnetic material susceptibility is what is susceptibility m by h or i by h magnetic susceptibility is small and negative small and negative the relative permeability is slightly less than unity means less than 1 the relative permeability is less than 1 so susceptibility is what negative and small these materials are independent of temperature independent of temperature independent of temperature and diamagnetic materials do not obey Curie's law what is Curie's law chi equal to c by t chi is the susceptibility is equal to c by t so that is Curie law so these materials not obey the Curie law a rod of diamagnetic material comes to rest with its length perpendicular to the directions of the field when it is suspended in a uniform magnetic field so here what is happening when a diamagnetic material whenever it is suspended in a uniform magnetic field then it comes to rest with length it it is stable it will coming to a position that position is length its length is perpendicular to the direction of the applied field its length is perpendicular to the applied field whenever it is suspended in a uniform magnetic field why because the field is stronger at the poles the field is stronger at the pole the field is stronger at the poles so this is about the this concept of magnetic material comes to rest when with its lens whenever it is uh, suspended freely the magnetic dipole moment is small and opposite to the magnetic field so what is dipole capital m the magnetic dipole moment is small and opposite to the magnetic field h the a diamagnetic liquid liquid a diamagnetic liquid in a u tube depress means decrease depress in the limb which is between the poles of a magnet the limb part will be depressed between the poles of magnet you can see here the limb part of the liquid is decreasing if a diamagnetic liquid is placed in watch glass the glass is placed between two poles then what is happening the liquid accumulates at the sides and shows depression in the middle where the field is strong here it is limping here shows depression at the middle see you can see it shows depression accumulate its sides and shows depression in the middle where the field is strong where the field is strong at the ending poles the field is strong so it is depressed if a liquid is placed on a watch glass place watch glass placed over the poles this is about the between if it is placed over the poles what will happen the liquid accumulate in the middle where the field is weakest so here the liquid is accumulate in the middle where the field is weakest see here depressed here accumulated if it is placing over the two poles it is placing between the two poles between the two poles it is depressed between so over the poles it is accumulate so which element exhibiting this diamagnetic material copper zinc uthmus silver gold antimony marble water glass sorry copper zinc silver gold antimony water and glass these are the best example for the diamagnetic material water glass silver gold next the another type is about paramagnetic materials paramagnetic materials are materials that tend to get weakly magnetized in the direction of the magnetizing field when placed in a magnetic field 
so they are weakly magnetized the previous one is freely magnetized paramagnetic materials are materials that tend to get weakly magnetized in the direction of the magnetizing field when placed in a magnetic field but they are in opposite direction they are freely magnetized or feebly magnetized opposite to the applied magnetic field here it is in the direction of applied magnetic field paramagnetic materials have a permanent dipole there no dipole paramagnetic materials have a permanent dipole moment or permanent magnetic moment this is the definition let's see what are the properties when the net atomic dipole moment of an atom is not zero dipole momentum of an atom not zero the atoms of paramagnetic substance have permanent dipole moment due to unpaired spin due to unpaired spin they having permanent dipole moment due to unpaired spin the substances are weakly attracted by the magnetic field they are weakly attracted by the magnetic field in the non uniform axonal magnetic field in the non uniform axonal magnetic field paramagnetic substances move from weak field region to strong field region weak field region to strong field region in non uniform paramagnetic rod is set itself parallel to the field because the field is stronger near the poles so paramagnetic rod that is suspended freely and getting perpendicular here it is in parallel paramagnetic rod sets itself parallel to the field because the field is strongest near poles a paramagnetic liquid in a u tube accent in the limb which is between the poles of the magnet so here what is happening in u tube this accent the intensity of magnetization is very small positively and directly proportional to the magnetic field so here what is intensity very small but it is positive what is that intensity of magnetization the magnetic susceptibility is small and positive in dia it is negative the magnetic susceptibility is small and positive the relative permeability is slightly greater than 1 slightly greater than 1 the field inside the material is greater than magnetizing field when it is 1 it is greater than magnetic field lines become denser inside the para magnetic substance what about the magnetic field lines the magnetic field lines become denser inside the paramagnetic substance magnetization of paramagnetic substance is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature magnetization converting a material into magnetizer form is called magnetization here paramagnetization substance is inversely proportional to the absolute temperature which is nothing but chi equal to c by t which is nothing but obeying curie law which obeys curie law paramagnetic substances obey curie law according to which magnetic susceptibility is inversely proportional to its absolute temperature inversely proportional to its absolute temperature the magnetic dipole moment of paramagnetic substance is small and parallel to the magnetizing field so this is all already discussed is small and parallel which elements are exhibiting this paramagnetic substance property that is iron oxide oxygen titanium aluminum or transition materials or metal what is the iron oxide oxygen oxygen the main one is oxygen and aluminum are exhibiting this property coming to the last one about the ferromagnetic material the ferromagnetic materials are those substances which exhibit strong magnetism in the same direction of the field 
what is the definition the ferromagnetic materials are those substances which exhibit strong magnetism in the same direction of the field that is definition this is what are the properties the atoms of ferromagnetic substances have permanent dipole moment present in domains this is about the domain theory that we can see later so that is discussing about the, the clockwise directions of the particles the atoms of ferromagnetic substances have permanent dipole moment present in domains atomic dipoles in a ferromagnetic substances are oriented in the same direction as the external magnetic field atomic dipoles in a ferromagnetic substances are oriented in the same direction as the external magnetic field the magnetic dipole moment is large and is positive in the direction of the magnetizing field the magnetic dipole moment is large and positive in the direction of the magnetizing field the magnetic flux density of material will be very sorry will be very large and positive flux density value will be very large and positive magnetic field lines become very dense inside ferromagnetic materials like para materials Pa magnetic field lines become very dense inside the ferromagnetic materials the relative permeability is also very large and varies linearly with the magnetizing field so the relative permeability is what permeability is very large and positive varies linearly with the magnetizing field inside the material is much stronger than magnetizing field inside the field that they tend to pull in a large number of lines of force they tend to move large number of they tend to pull in a large number of lines of force by the material relative permeability is more and more greater than 1 more and more greater than 1 ferromagnetic substances are strongly attracted by the field so in a non uniform field they tend to stick at the poles where the field is strong so here what is happening these ferromagnetic substances are attracted at the poles they are attracting at the poles so they are attracting at the poles at the the ferromagnetic materials are attracting at the poles then if a ferromagnetic powder is placed if a ferromagnetic powder is placed in a watch glass and place it at the two poles so place it on the two poles then what was happen here the powder accumulate at the sides and shows depression at the middle in the side parts at the side parts of the pole at the whenever it is place the powder the ferro ferromagnetic material powder a uh, ferromagnetic powder whenever it is placed on poles then at the edges it will be accumulate at the middle of the position it shows depression because of the strong field when a ferromagnetic material is liquefied it loses ferromagnetic material due to high temperature so when it was heated then the liquid the material is changed to liquefied whenever it change in liquefied nature it lose its properties that is called as demagnetization that we can see later and coming to the last session about comparison among dia para and ferro materials let's see dia para ferro dia magnetic substances are those substances which are feebly or weakly attracted or feebly means here feebly means weakly feebly repelled by a magnet as feebly attracted by a magnet they are magnetic substances are those substances which are feebly repelled by a magnet coming to para para magnetic substances are those substances which are feebly attracted sorry here you can use the word repel only 
here it is which feebly attracted by a magnet ferro ferromagnetic substances are those substances which are strongly attracted see dia is feebly repel para is feebly attracted ferro is strongly attracted example is what antimony bismuth copper gold silver quartz mercury alcohol water hydrogen air argon etc coming to para aluminium chromium alkali and alkaline earth metals platinum oxygen etc coming to ferro iron cobalt nickel gadolinium dysprosium etc coming to second property when placed in a magnetic field these lines of force tend to avoid the substance when placed in a magnetic field these lines of force tend to avoid the substance this is about the dia the lines of force prefer to pass through the substance rather than in here the lines are avoiding that the lines are passing through the material in ferro the lines of force tend to crowd into the specimen so it is largely tending here weakly tending here avoiding in dia it is our completely avoiding in para weakly avoiding in ferro completely moving through the substance you can see the figure more lines are passing few lines are passing here no lines passing through the dia coming to the third one when placed in a non uniform magnetic field it moves from stronger to weaker field stronger to weaker field when a dia material placed in a non uniform magnetic field it moves from stronger to weaker field pa about the para when a place in a non uniform magnetic field it moves from weaker to stronger weaker to stronger about the ferro when placed in non uniform magnetic field it moves from weaker to stronger weaker to stronger in the in the nature of attractive when a diametric material rod is freely suspended in a uniform magnetic field in a uniform magnetic field it aligns itself in a direction perpendicular to the field when a diametric rod is freely suspended in a uniform magnetic field it aligns itself direction perpendicular to the field come to the para when a para magnetic substance or rod is freely suspended in a uniform magnetic field it aligns itself in a direction parallel to the field direction parallel to the field this is para coming to the ferro when when er sorry it is a, you need to consider ferro only when a ferro magnetic material rod is freely suspended in a uniform magnetic field then it aligns itself direction parallel to the field very quickly this is about the quick concept just both are similar but here quicker here normal coming to fourth one if a diamagnetic liquid taken in a watch glass is placed in a uniform magnetic field it collects away from the center when the magnetic poles are closer and collects at the center when the magnetic poles are further so here when the diamagnetic liquid is taken in a watch glass is placed in a uniform magnetic field it collects away from the center from the center away from the center it will be collected it collects away from the center when the magnetic poles are closer and collects the center when the magnetic poles are further so whenever they are moving coming to the para para magnetic liquid taken in a glass and uniform magnetic field it collects at the center when the magnetic poles are closed and collects away from the center when the magnetic poles are further coming to other one you can see the figure there is a variation in the figure in a ferromagnetic liquid taken in a watch glass if a ferromagnetic liquid is taken in a watch glass is placed in a uniform magnetic field it collects at the center when the magnetic poles are closer and collects away from the center 
and the magnetic poles are farther. So this is about the process. So when they are close, there is a certain uh, figure collect means the process you will be defined. The liquid shows different. Whenever the magnetic poles are close, the the liquid shows different formation. When the magnetic poles are farther means separate a certain distance, then you will be find certain designs or certain structures. So in this case, the para and ferro are remain same means both are same, but this ferro and para process is quite different to the diamagnetic material. You can see here when the liquid is in the wash glass, if the field is uniform, if the poles are closest, what was happen? It is collected away from the center, means not the center, it's not collecting at the center, means not accumulated at the center. But when the poles are away, then what is happening? Then the magnetic poles are further away, it collects at the center, at the center point it is accumulated in dia. Coming to the para, when the poles are closed, what is happening? When the poles are closed, it collects at the center, means accumulated at the center. When poles are far away, it is accumulated at the, depressed at the center, so depressed at the center. Coming to here in ferro, when the poles are closest, it is accumulated at the middle region. When the poles are far, it is accumulated, it is depressed at the middle. Coming to the fifth one. When diamagnetic substance is placed in a magnetic field, it is weakly magnetized in the direction opposite to the induced field. When a diamagnetic substance is placed in a magnetic field, it is weakly magnetized, quite opposite to the applied field. When a paramagnetic substance is placed inside the magnetic field, weakly magnetized to the same direction of the field. When a para ferromagnetic substance is placed in a magnetic field, it is strongly magnetized in the same direction. Induced dipole movement is small and negative value. Induced sixth one. For the dia, induced dipole movement, capital M is small and negative. For the para, induced dipole movement is small and positive. For the ferro, induced dipole movement is large and positive, small and negative, small and positive, small and sorry, small and positive. For the ferro, large and positive. Coming to the seventh one, intensity of magnetization, very small and negative, just like dipole movement. Intensity of magnetization, small and negative. Intensity of magnetization for the para, small and negative. For the ferro. Intensity of magnetization, large and positive, just like dipole. What about the permeability? The permeability for the dia material, it is less than 1. For the para, it is equal to 1 or greater than 1. For the ferro, it is much higher than to the unity, much and much more than 1, more than 1. The susceptibility of diamagnetic materials is small and negative here for the para is small and positive for the ferro is small sorry, positive large and positive here large and positive here small and positive here small and negative for the magnetic susceptibility for the dia materials is small and negative for the para materials is small and positive for the uh, for the ferro is small so large and positive so here the magnetic susceptibility for the dia magnetic materials is small and negative for the ferro materials is para is small and positive for the ferro materials is large and positive large small and negative small and positive large and positive this is about the susceptibility of dia para ferro coming to the curila they do not obey the curila they do not obey the curila 
So Curela, what is Curela? Curela is nothing but susceptibility. This is about the Curela. Susceptibility of magnetization. Magnet is equal to C by T. Where C is a Curie constant, T is the temperature. So dia magnetic materials won't be valid to the means do not follow the Curie law. But para materials are follow the Curie law. They lose their magnetic property when magnetic temperature is increasing. Para magnetic materials will lose their magnetic properties when temperature is high. Coming to the ferro, they follow the Obey law, sorry, they, they follow the Curie law. A certain temperature called Curie point temperature, these ferromagnetic materials are changed into ferromagnetic materials are changed into paramagnetic materials. That temperature is called Curie temperature. So this is about the classification of the materials. So here you can see here the Curie. Sorry, what is Curie constant? Curie lies what? That is chi m means the susceptibility of the magnet is the equal to c by t, where susceptibility is inversely proportional to the one by t. Susceptibility is inversely proportional to the one by t. So this is about the comparison of the magnetic materials.